in today class i will explain about reassing concept in data structure what is reassing when we go for reassing concept then what are the advantages of the reassing concept we will see in today class see here the reassing is a technique in which the table is resized the size of the table is doubled by creating the new table then why should we create the new table why should we create the size is doubled then we will see the it is the reaction is depends on the load factor because if the load factor is greater than 0.5 then we should implement the reaction concept then see the second point in this slide the load factor is measured the decides when to increase the hash table capacity to maintain the search and insert operation of the time complexity would be order of 1 here when why we go for the reassing concept then we need to maintain the time complexity of insertion and search operations would be order of 1 why because if does not go for the reassing concept then the collisions will occur more in hash table that's why we go for the reassing concept whenever we go for the reassing concept the size of the hashing or the size of the hash table size would be doubled then see here the load factor equal to the number of entries in the hash table divided by the hash table size the load factor is very important factor in reassing concept because some author will say that if the load factor is above 0.75 then we go for the reaction okay some authors will tell that if the load factor is above 0.5 then we go for the reaction then i am telling you the better to go for reaction if the load factor is 0.5 okay that is called as the reaction then in next what are the importance factors in reaction concept then see when you are implementing the reaction concept then these steps you should remember then after insertion of an element into the hash table check the load factor then if it is above 0.5 then we go for the reaction then create a new array of double size of the previous array if for example the previous array would be 5 then what is the double size 10 but we don't take the size 10 why because the new hash table size would be prime numbers then we need to consider the after the 10 what is the which will come for the which will the which will be the prime number then 11 is the prime number then whenever you consider the prime number it is not the below 10 it must be greater than the 10 okay the 11 is the prime number then we need to consider the 11 as a new hash table size got it then we go for the example then how do we implement the reaction concept see here there the keys has been given 11 12 13 14 the hash table size would be 5 okay we can insert all these elements into the hash table by using any one of the open addressing method the linear probing or quadratic probing or double hashing then here 11 modulus 5 then what is the remainder we got then index location is 1 okay the 11 has to be placed over there okay this is called as the hash table size we have taken 0 to 4 why because the hash table size is given as a 5 then here once you are inserting the elements at that time only one element will be there in the hash table 1 by 5 okay it is below 0.5 the load factor is below 0.5 that's why we don't go for the reaction then whenever inserting the second element the hash of 12 then what is the remainder we got here 2 that 2 is treated as the index of hash table then at index location 2 because 12 has to be placed in the hash table then 2 by what is called 2 by 5 then what is the 2 by 
at that time uh, there is it is uh, below 2 by 5 what is the load factor number of rentis in the hash table at that time only two elements as there in the hash table then it is because 0 0.5 less than 0 0.5 then we don't go for the rehash because whenever inserting the third element that is a 13 13 modulus 5 then what is the remainder the remainder would be 3 then that is treated as index position of the hash table then at index 3 the 13 has placed then now how many entries in the hash table then 3 by 5 then what is the load factor 0 0.6 then here also i find out load factor then because here the 0 0.6 is greater than 0 0.5 then what i told in previous slide then if it is greater than 0 0.5 then we go for the reaction okay to maintain the time complexity is order of one because here in this slide whenever inserting the 13 element into the hash table then we are exceeding the 0 0.5 load factor that's why we go for the reaction then in the next slide then what is the reaction what is the size of the hash table then how we can able to store all the element into the new hash table we will see then see here then what is the hash table size this is the new hash table size because the size is double then previous hash table size would be 5 then here it is double then what is 10 okay 10 is not a prime number not prime number you take the prime number okay then it is above 10 then what is the next prime number would be 11 that's why the 11 is a prime number the new hash table size would be 11 got it that's why the hash table size would be 11 then 0 to 10 is the indexes then again you can recalculating the hash, the hash codes by using the new hash table size that's why what is the first element we have taken that is called as 11 11 more or less 11 the new hash table size would be 11 then what is the remainder the remainder would be 0 because at index 11, 0 the 11 has placed okay then then hash table hash of 12 the 12 more or less 11 then what is the remainder we got 1 at index 1 the 12 has to be placed okay that index 1 already we placed 12 then what is the next element 13 then 13 more or less 11 then what is the remainder we got then 2 at index location 2 then 13 as placed then 14 more or less 11 we got 3 the index location is 3 at index location 3 the 14 as placed then by considering the new hash table size then all elements has to be placed then here still there are many entries would be empty that's why then we go for the reaction concept then we reduce the number of collisions in the hash table then also we need to maintain the time complexity would be the order of one that is the purpose we would use the reaction concept in the data structure still if you have any doubt Regarding the reaction concept, please post your query in the comment box. Thank you. Thank you all for watching my videos. If you like this video, please subscribe channel. Thank you.